13-year-old boy would be talking about one of the most avoided subjects ever. But when over 208 million people in the world are plagued by this monster, it becomes a concern for everyone. Drugfreeworld.org writes that young people are exposed to drugs earlier than, earlier than ever, and it is worse in Nigeria. This same newspaper writes that over 500,000 bottles of protein are being consumed every day by the Nigerian population. But parents, stakeholders, and society continue to live in self-denial at this time of waste to explode. This is a wake-up call. It's time for more people to join the fight against drugs. And these things are so easy to find in news, and it's just a matter of knowing someone that knows someone. In Nigeria, if 500,000 bottles of protein are being consumed every day, then you know that there is a problem. There is a large youth population that takes protein on a daily basis, and this fact resonates within the northern part of Nigeria. In 2018, the BBC reporter, Bonna Mayer, carried out an undercover investigation, and she discovered in many pharmacies in Nigeria that cough syrup containing protein are being sold in large quantities to teens and students on campuses without a doctor's prescription. All it takes is one hit. Imagine the hundreds of kids who, walking home from school, stop by sales pharmacies and spend, uh, spend money on a bottle today, another bottle tomorrow, and the next day, and more and more and more, until they can't live without it, while their parents are clueless because they've never faced anything like this before. But why do young people abuse drugs? The reasons are many, from peer pressure, frustration, and depression. And germs are constantly falling to drugs as a coping mechanism. Have you ever heard of a syrup party? It is where children my age and over go to friends' houses and take um, drugs in form of syrups. Imagine kids my age being intoxicated, their lives wasted away, and the government is not helping matters. Well, Ronald Mayer's report shows the state of rehabilitation centers. People are being dragged in chains, poor infrastructure. How can an environment like that provide the change it is meant to? The fight against drug abuse is one that we all have to take a part in. Parents need to talk to their children to know what's bothering them. The government needs to create more job opportunities and security because when parents are unemployed and can't meet up with their children's needs, they get this might result in the children finding comfort in harmful substances as drugs. There should be more enlightenment on drug abuse, more counseling provided for young people, more wealthy Nigerian and NGOs investing in our rehabilitation centers, and most importantly, more transparency and accountability for our pharmaceutical companies.